Hi everyone, today we will build a QR code generator application with HTML, CSS and JavaScript. That's it. We will use QR code API for this. Okay. First, let's start with the HTML part of our application. First, let's create a class called Containers. And let's have a header in it. Okay. Let's create a header called QR code generator using the hash one tag QR code generator and write that's got that and write past a URL or enter text the QR code. Okay. Then let's create a class called form and create an input to add URL type text and placeholders enter text or URL enter text or URL and spell check false because spell check property defines whether the text in the object will be checked for spelling and grammar rules and as a After that, we need a button and we create a button. Sorry, that. Generate QR code. Okay. And finally, and let's first add an image for the QR code and we will do the rest with JavaScript. A QR code class and image tag source okay now we can move on to CSS first let's uh, let's set the margin and padding values to zero margin zero and padding zero and of course box sizing border box and we will use Montserrat as font family. Montserrat and sans sheriff. Okay, then let's add style to the body tag. Display flags and align items and justify content centers. Padding value uh, zero from the top to bottom and 10 pixel from left and right. And min height, minimum a height will be 100 v per height. And we will set the background as linear gradients to right and Okay, now let's style to the container class. Height will be 265 pixel and max width will be 410 pixel and background will be white. Okay, border radius will be 7 pixel and padding values will be 20 pixel from top and 25 pixel from right and left and zero from bottom okay since the height of the container will change uh, when the QR generator runs let's add a transition effects height 0 0.2 seconds and is okay And box shadow zero to ten pixel blur and thirty pixel. It will be black zero point two opacity. Okay. When the container uh, when the container is active, 
Got it. So active class is active. Let's hit will be 530 pixel. Okay. Let's select the header hash one tag. And the font size value will be 1.3 RAM. And font weight will be 500. After that, header p tag and margin tab. 5 pixel and colors will be gray and font size 1 RAM. Okay. Let's select the form class in the containers. And the uh, margin value will be 20 pixel from the top, 0 pixel from right to left, and 25 pixel from bottom. After that, form input and form button. with 100 percent and height 55 pixel okay borders none and outline will be none okay and border radius will be 5 pixel and we add a transition effect 0 0.1 seconds and ease And after that, form input font size 1.1 RAM, padding 0 from top and bottom, and 1 RAM from left and right. And borders 1 pixel solid gray. And form input focus and box shadow zero to three pixel six pixel and will be black and opacity will be zero point two. Okay. And after that form input placeholder. Colors will be gray. And finally, for button, colors will be white and cursor pointers and margin top 20 pixel and font size. 1.05 RAM okay and background will be blue dark blue let's select the QR code class display flex align items and justify content centers and padding will be 34 pixel from top and bottom and 0 from right and left and border radius will be 5 pixel and borders will be 1 pixel solid and white and at first the op opacity will be 0 when the QR code runs, the opacity will be 1. And finally, QR code image width will be 170 pixel. Okay, now we can move on to JavaScript. 
First, let's define the variables. const containers is equal to documents query selector a class container. And after that, qr input value documents query selector for input. Okay. And generates qr value is documents query selector for button and finally qr image is equal to documents sorry query selector and qr code image okay let's add an event to generate qr uh, with the add event listener methods it will be click events and after that, uh, we create the function. Let's add the active class to the container. Container class list add is active. Okay. We will add it to a function in a moment. First, let's create a variable called qr value. qr value is actual to qr input value. Okay, first uh, we will print it with console log and QR value and we test it. Okay, as you can see, the value we entered in input is printed to the console screen. Okay. And after that, and let's add a condition. If the value from QR value is empty, return. If QR value is empty, it will be returned. Now let's add a source to the QR image source. Uh, we will get this from API. Okay, it's that. After getting the API from the QR code generator page, we add it as a source between backtick. The width and height will be 100. Sorry. 170. And another example, it's QR value. Okay. Now we can delete the source file in HTML. Okay. Okay, now let's add an event to QR image. And QR image. Add event listeners. And it will be the load event and create a function. We will add container class list add. When the QR code generator is runs, uh, image opacity will be run. Okay. That's it. It's good. Okay. And when we press the generate button, the button should say loading for this uh, generate trash in inner text is uh, generating QR code. Okay. And after that, but after it's loaded, let's write generate QR in the text is 
Aaa Genevet QR Code. We test it. Okay. And finally after deleting the information in the input delete the active text from the container for this. QR input add event listener and event is key up and we create a function if uh, QR input is empty QR code QR input value is empty containers class list remove is active okay as you can see our application is quite nice when we enter a URL code uh, www.youtube.com generate okay it's that Twitter and Facebook Okay. Or oh, when we add a random value, a QR code was created in the same way. That's it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel.